Hi everyone, I'm Jean Hansen, co-founder of the Janitorial Store and MyHouseCleaningBiz.com. So one of the things I love about our LMS or our learning management system called Clean Smart University is that you can find a wealth of information on situations that may come up in the running of your business. We all come across these odd situations with employees um, and, and right now it's right before the holidays as I'm filming this. And so one of the questions that oftentimes comes up for business owners is, what about holiday parties with my employees? Should I have alcohol? A lot of people are shying away from that these days and that's fine, but it is perfectly legal, legal but you wanna make sure that you're taking the right precautions. So I have a short video I wanna play for you that will give you some great tips on this. So let me just switch over here. What happens if you add alcohol to the mix at your party? If you decide to provide alcohol at your event, which is totally legal by the way, just be smart about it. Providing alcohol does come with some risks. What if because of alcohol at your party, there's a car accident or a fight breaks out or an employee is sexually harassed? Without going into great detail on these and other risks, here are a few tips to ensure that you're protecting both your employees and your organization when alcohol is involved. Number one, don't have an open bar. Give employees drink coupons with a two drink maximum. Also, have pre-designated non-drinking managers who will watch over the crowd. And third, provide a no-cost taxi to get anyone home who was up to no good and got their hands on some extra drink coupons at the party. Make sure that employees know in advance what you expect and don't at the holiday party. Let them know that you have no problem with them drinking at the event, but that you have a zero tolerance for inappropriate conduct at the event and driving while intoxicated after the event, and that consequences will attach to any and all violators. Okay, one last thing. Make sure that you celebrate the holidays near the end of the year, not Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. Follow these simple tips, and you've got the makings for a fun and legal holiday party. Okay, so there you have it. And before I switch back to me, I just wanted to show you um, over on the right here, we've got some related content. And if you scroll down on this page, look at the list of videos that are related or our workplace situations. So we've got a pregnant employee, now what? Six day, sick day excuses, honest or fraudulent. Um, FAQ, seasonal employee hours and pay, applicants with criminal records, should we pay interns, busted on Facebook, what, what I did on FMLA leave, uh, struggling to retain top talent, uh, let's see, what is your policy for inclement weather, which is a good one for cleaning business owners. So you can see there's a lot of different videos here that are available to you at Clean Smart University. So if you're interested in getting access to this, over 8,000 professional videos, including our own uh, videos that we created at the janitorial store in myhousecleaningbiz.com, custom for the cleaning industry, you'll have access to those as well. Just join as a premium member on either one of the sites. If you're commercial, it's the janitorial store. If you primarily do residential, it's myhousecleaningbiz.com. So thanks and I'll see you next time.